today live on Maryland. Live large in small spaces. From storage secrets to decor don'ts. Find out how to lift the limitations that your home is putting on you with incredible secrets from Jane Lockhart and Tommy Smythe. Then main course meals miniature size. Find out how to pack in main course magic into appetizer sized recipes. It all starts right now. Downtown Toronto. Here she is, Marilyn Dennis. Sarah, great show today, Small Spaces. We're calling it Small Space Dealers. We're go not the team, but that's another show. We're going to show you how you can decorate small spaces. First up, here's Jane with designer secrets to uh, making a space look and feel a lot bigger. You're going to like this. Lots of lessons here. Watch. This is a project that my design team put together, and I want to use it to show you that small spaces are no obstacle when it comes to decorating, as long as you have great style. In this house, the largest area is the combination of the living room and dining room, but there are a couple things that we did to actually make this feel bigger. One of them is right here in this dining room. Who says that the dining room table has to sit in the middle of the room? When it does, it cuts off your traffic flow. So by pushing it to one side, we open up the space a lot more. And notice, there is no hutch in here. Nothing that sits that's big in your eye line. We also made sure that we selected a thinner table, so it's scaled to the space. Now here in the family room, there's lots of things that we did. First of all, all the furniture is raised off the floor, meaning it's on legs. And what that does is it allows the light to go through and it makes big pieces look smaller. Another thing is, when you have a small space, sometimes you don't have floor space, but you do have height, and that's what we took advantage of in here. They added artwork that is stacked, so they put one on top of the other, so that really elongates the room, but they also selected artwork that you have to look into, meaning it has perspective, so it gives depth to the room. And of course, we have the windows. Always do your drapes floor to ceiling because you may not have floor space, but you definitely have height. And the window coverings are white. Sometimes the problem with small spaces is not so much they're small, but that they're dark. And by adding white on your window, it brightens up the space and makes it feel bigger. One of the tricks you can use in your staircase to make it feel larger is to add something to the walls called picture frame molding. It actually makes it feel wider or taller or whatever size you want to do. It's a really great way to take a small space and make it look bigger without too much work. This is a comfortable sized master bedroom. Not too big, eh, maybe a little on the smaller side. But I want it as an example to show you that if you use a dark color, it can make a space actually look bigger and really give you the zing you're looking for. You see, color is all about management, and that's what size is, managing your color and style together. Thank you for visiting our home today. Let me just say in closing that good design comes in all shapes and sizes. So, regardless of how big your space actually is, go for style no matter what. That's what's always going to carry the day. That is a small space, and you make it look so big, and there's so many lessons there. You've created another small space for us here, many lessons. You know, we think small space, we think we have to be so careful. And that's what happens. I think people yeah. do nothing because they think, oh, if I do something, it's yeah. going to make it feel smaller. And the number one rule is it really doesn't matter how big or small it is. It's how good it looks in the end. Yeah. That's always your goal. Even if it's small, you can still make it look good. And while you're building, you're going, ah, I don't know about this. But yes. when it's finished, it's great. Yeah. So she's got six designer secrets to making yes. your small space seem larger. And the first thing I said to her when I walked over here is, love the couch. 
Yeah. Go with bold colors your first thing, right? Pick one thing yeah. that's going to be your drama story. So the best spaces are the spaces that are finished, right? Yes. Most people have uh, unfinished spaces, of and they course. never know why it doesn't look good. Yeah. So in a small space, finish it, because you can actually finish it. It's not so big. Yeah. So pick one piece. Here, our sofa is an oversized, normal sofa. This is from Style Garage. Beautiful piece, and it's in gold. So it becomes a statement that you look at. So pick one thing that's going to be your statement. So I decided, let's make it the sofa. So that's the color, and that's the next lesson, too, for yes. bold color. Bold, like a big statement sofa. That's right. Statement yeah. sofa, one piece, and then the wall color. That's the other thing. And I, I, I've said this for over 25 years. <laughs> you don't look like you've been in the business for 25 years. What yes. is that? From H1, yeah. I have I've said. always said. <laughs> what did you say? Dark colors do not make your room smaller. No. They make your room darker, yeah. crazily enough. Um, it's, it's contrast that makes the room smaller. Yeah. So contrast means more black against white or high contrast because your eye moves like a pinball yeah. right around the room. So you want to manage your contrast. I also think it makes it look cozy. -er. It does. Cozy -er, Again, you know? if you have one strategic piece you want to stand out, make that the contrast and everything else blends in then. Let's talk about light fixture. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is one thing that I see a lot of people with those flying saucers stuck to the ceiling, and then they catch all the bugs for the last 25 years. You can have your own anthological project. Yeah. Um, so what we want to do is take that down and put something bigger and hang it. Yeah. Um, come off the ceiling. Even if you only have an eight-foot ceiling, a, a demi-flush, it just comes down a little bit farther. Just a drop. Yeah, that's right. It opens up the room, and it brings in the ceiling, which does not lower the ceiling. Don't write to me and say that. What it does yeah. is it makes your eye look up which helps to elongate the room, and more light is better. In the house that you did, though, yes. that, they had pretty high ceilings, did they, they not? They had a nine-foot, which is really becoming standard. Now, if yeah. you have a regular eight-foot, like I, in condos, often you get eight feet. Add something to the ceiling that is interesting, long, sparkly. You'd be amazed the difference catching light can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, go tall. So, in yes. that case, we're talking nine-foot ceilings, sometimes mm -hmm. eight-foot ceilings. Even if it's eight-foot, you yes. can do something like this. Again, people struggle with having no focal points. So they always say, well, I don't know what to do for a focal point. So yeah. You don't have a fireplace, no problem, I get it. Right. There's lots of great units like this. This is from um, Structube, which is a wonderful piece, good Canadian piece, and it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of height. And of course, now here's the thing, thing you can't have everything you've ever owned in your life on this bookcase. I know you guys, I know what you do. You're like, finally, yeah. surface. So you do have to edit. We've heard this said by many designers before. Pick the pieces that go together. So silver's our main color here. However, I've ah, crossed Where'd you over. find the silver's the main color? Hey, where'd you get that? Silver's here. Silver's in the carpet. Silver, silver's Silver, silver's in the, the foot yeah, of the thing. Okay, right. gotcha. We have black and white on here. Yeah. But I, then... This is, this is the toughest part for this me. This is. Accessories toughest. is what kill people. So clutter is not your friend in small spaces, right? No. you got to really think about this. So yeah. one piece like this is fine. Not every piece is going to be like this. Um, I'm looking at all of you because I know what happens. <laughs> but, you got, you, but you did some gold in I there. I put in a little bit of gold. Yes, I have crossed over and put two metallics together. <gasps> Can you imagine? I did it. So you want to add, so I have gold here, I have gold on the table oh, yeah, here, and yeah, gold yeah. on the legs. Yeah. We are in a transitional time where we are seeing the transition to gold. So as much as people don't want to talk about gold because it reminds them of 1982, I get it. It's coming back. They're going to see more of it. Oh, I was single back in age. I was quite happy about I know. That. There you go. You okay. see, it's a good memory. Let's talk about artwork. Okay. Um, um, you know, I've just gone to that art project that is held in Toronto, yes. but every city has uh, some type of art mm -hmm. that they showcase what uh, yes. artisans do in their neighborhood, in their hoods, which I love. But I want people to pick out what they like. Yes. It's about how they hang it, too. And yes. I want to talk to you about what you have there. But in the piece that you did, yes. I love the fact that they that you've doubled up on... We vertical stack. Yeah. Yes. That's really great. So people yeah. always say to me, I had a client yesterday, they said, well, you wouldn't go hang your art lower than your hip, would you? And I was like, okay, I don't know if that's a random decision, but okay. <laughs> yes, I would, actually. Because sometimes, especially if you're doing a gallery wall or something, yeah. you, you want to go lower. Um, your art is in relation to the furniture, not in relation to the space. So lower the furniture, the lower your art can go. Okay. Now, in this case, I've taken advantage of the fact that the wall is very wide as opposed to tall yeah. and done horizontal. And like the piece that we just watched, you notice that you look into the piece of artwork. Perspective. So it, perspective's a big thing. It so if is. you're stuck on what kind of art to get, mm -hmm. look for something that you look through, mm -hmm. and it makes it feel like a long road, whatever it is. No, I um, like and that. And it makes it feel bigger. But that's what mm -hmm. was so interesting, because when you did a close-up yeah. on that piece, I went... 
that, that art looks really interesting, yeah. and it was all looking into That's things right. like that. That's right, so you don't focus Got so it. much on the room anymore. Yeah. You start to see the art as part of collaborating with your design to make it feel bigger. Uh, I know we have to go uh, talk mm -hmm. about the lamp, but I also want to talk about the, co uh, the coffee table. Yes. Let's do the lamp, let's do lighting Okay. next, okay? So I added a lamp over here, mm -hmm. and you'll notice that this is a stand lamp. This is a pretty, this is great, this is also struck tube. Yeah. Um, these tables are glass, and they're solid as a rock, so you can't hurt yourself on the, yeah. well, they can hurt you, you can't hurt them, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they're great. You'll notice I have a lot of clear elements in here. There's a lot of like these chairs, plastic, yeah. um, glass items. Add these if you have a small yeah. space because they give you seating without taking up visual room. Right. And what I like about this is you notice I don't have the lamp sitting on the table. It's sitting behind as a stand lamp. This is kind of the new look. So even a small bedroom, don't put nightstand tables because you don't have room for your clock and all your drugs and your books. And I know, I get it. <laughs> so to put it behind and use it as a stand lamp so you have a totally clear table, which really helps a lot. Yeah. Um, and I never uh, thought I'd see the day when I was going to have all these vitamins beside my bed. But it it's happened. happened. I know, yeah. And one day it just happened. we got to yes. figure that out. Yes, no problem. Before we take a break, because we're yes. going to tell you where all the products available, uh, I love the fact that you have this table. You chose something completely different. Yes. And why did you choose this? Um, the idea here is to pick, again, another piece that doesn't necessarily coordinate with everything. Okay? Yeah. So the days of Matchy Matchy have definitely walked away from us, thank goodness. Um, so the idea is found objects. So this yeah. is a more tailored piece that goes with the sofa, mm -hmm. whereas the bookcase is a little more rustic. So you can combine styles, but if you're going to combine styles, make sure that something connects. So in this case, I've looked at color and said, okay, the gold is our connection with the black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's how oh, you pull great. it together. And it's not big. Now, I could have done a bigger piece in here. Um, I could have done a big ottoman if I wanted. So, you know, this is an area where you do have a lot of this flexibility. This is a little further away than it's supposed to be, but you did this for TV. The chandelier yes. is from Home Depot. Yes. And where's the art from? Urban Barn. There you go. Yeah. All the product information. I know you want more. You knew you were asking that. Yeah. That's why I heard you. <laughs> Thank I you. know that. Okay. All information on Maryland.ca. Jane, great stuff. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We'll be right back. <laughs> Coming up, big design style, tiny space. Tommy Smythe takes you through one of the smallest homes you've ever seen. Don't miss it.